good morning to all the children and parents the following assignment dated 7th december 2020 is of class 2 for the subject of general knowledge we are going to take up two new topics today the first one is where people live page number 44 and second is tools people use page number 54 from the book gk studio 2 mrs inderjit mohan kaur and mrs charandeep bhatti are the subject teachers this voice is of charandeep bhatti so children kindly open page number 44 of the book gk studio 2 lesson where people live children we have already covered this topic in our environmental studies course house we live in so it will be easy for you to understand this chapter children a house we live in is our basic need we feel safe and comfortable in a house a house protects us from heat cold rain wind wild animals and thieves let us see the first picture on page number 44 this is a picture of a hut huts are made of mud and straw sometimes bricks or leaves are also used huts are cheap and easy to make children you can see the second picture of a bungalow a bungalow is a single story house with a sloping roof it is usually small and often surrounded by a veranda the next picture is a picture of a tent a tent is a shelter usually made of a large sheet of canvas these can be moved and fixed easily to other places soldiers and campers live in tents the next picture 
is the picture of a palace. A palace is a large building that is the home of the king or the president of a country. One of the famous palaces in the world is Buckingham Palace in London. The last picture is a picture of an apartment. An apartment block is a large building which has many stories where many families live. Off beat. Early man used to live in caves. Brain gym. Children, are you ready to answer these questions? The first one. Who lives in an igloo? The answer is Eskimos. So children, write down Eskimos. The next question. A house on wheels is called a caravan. C A R A V A N caravan. So children, with this we end this chapter. Now let us take up another lesson. Tools people use. On page number 54 of the book GK Studio 2. Children, let us learn about different tools people use in different occupations. So children, are you ready with your pencil and eraser? Let us start. People do different kinds of work. They need different kinds of tools to help them in doing their work. Let us take up exercise A. A clue box is provided with the names of different tools. Fill in the blank spaces with proper tool name choosing from the clue box. Number 1. A dash pulls the plow. Children, you can see a farmer's picture sitting on a tractor. So, the answer is tractor. Underline tractor and write down tractor in the space provided. Number 2. A dash is used to weigh things. Children, you must have seen this tool in the market. This is called a balance. We use a balance to weigh things. So please write down balance in the blank.
Number three. Children, you can see a doctor examining a child. The doctor is using a tool. A dash is used to examine a sick person. Children, we call it a stethoscope. So write down stethoscope. S T E T H O S C O P E stethoscope. Now see the next picture, picture number four. A dash is used to work on pipes and taps. Children, you can see a plumber. He is repairing a leaking tap. So he is using a tool. We call it a wrench. So children, underline wrench and write down wrench in the blank. W R E N C H wrench. Children, here W is silent. The next picture, picture number 5. You can see a carpenter is cutting the wood. A dash is used to cut wood. Children, you can see this tool in the picture. We call it a saw. So underline saw and write down saw. S A W saw. So children, let us match in the next exercise. Exercise B. Match the tool with the name of the person who would use it. Number one is a pair of scissors. So children, who uses a scissors to cut a cloth? Yes, a tailor uses scissors. So you can match it with a line. Match number one with D, tailor. The next tool, number two, is a plow. Plow is used by a farmer in the field. So match number two with number C. Number three is a paint brush. So a painter uses a paint brush when he is painting a house. So children, match the paint brush with painter. That is match three with E. Painter. Number four is a screw driver. We use a screw driver to tighten up the nuts. So children, a screw driver is used by an electrician. So match screw driver with number B. Electrician. The last one is number 5. You can see a picture of an injection. So, children, you know who uses an injection? A doctor. Yes. So, match injection, that is number 5, with A, that is doctor.
let us take up the last part of this chapter of beat early man used stone to make tools the next is brain gym children are you ready to solve the given puzzle i have teeth but cannot bite my name is dash children can you guess what is the answer it is a comb it has teeth but it cannot bite so children write down comb in the blank c o m b comb with this we come to an end of this interactive session till next week take care and stay safe thank you